Hi everyone, I'm Marilyn Tomlinson, the organizer of the New York Jamaica pageant. We're here today at Love Fellowship Church and we're conducting registration for the pageant, which actually officially kicks off today, March 3rd. We have eight beautiful young ladies with us tonight and we have one handsome young man. And they're vying for the first crown of the New York Jamaica pageant 2013. The New York Jamaica pageant was created because of Hurricane Sandy that has devastated a bridge back home in Maryland, the community of Maryland, in Kingston, Jamaica. And I've thought about giving back to her country and that inspired the New York Jamaica pageant, which is the first time in New York. We're presently accepting applications for male and female ages 16 to 19 and 20 to 25. For more information, you can contact Marlene at 347-520-7510 or you can look at us at the Facebook page New York Jamaica Pageant. My name is Lucky Dampier, represent Highly Humble and we will be represent for the New York Jamaica Pageant with Miss Marlene. We're going to be premiering some yeah. new stuff and some classic at the same time because you know Highly Humble is still a brand new thing. Not a lot of people know about us so we got old, we got classic, and definitely got something brand new to show. There's a lot being gained in the pageant because you're being seen like all over the world. Put that in your resume, you've done a pageant, and, and for you to go out and do modeling, it's going to be a plus for you. Hi, my name is Candice, and this is my partner, Kadisha, and we are Cookies and Cream. <laughs> We're both in our 20s, born in the beautiful island of Trinidad, West Indies. We met nine years ago in high school, quickly became best friends, and we've been sisters ever since. We have the same exact role, it's nothing different. We both have, like she said, we have different styles, um, but one thing we do agree on is accessories. So. We go through our products and pick out the right products and see what's in style. For the pageant, we're trying to incorporate some new styles that's in, you know, summertime is coming up, so the bright colors will be used a lot into the pageants, and gold is always in, gold never fails. We are super excited. This is our first show, so we are excited. We are excited to promote Jamaica and help Jamaica with their bridge, and we are excited to promote our products and our website. Okay, my name is Amanda Smith and I am a freelance makeup artist as well as hairstylist. I'm from Brooklyn, New York and right now I am styling one of our models contestants for the Jamaica New York pageant. I have been doing hair and makeup for about three years and I started freelance three years ago but I've been always into the, the makeup and fashion world my whole life. I love it. It's um, something that's a passion of mine and I feel like when you feel your best or you look your best, you feel your best basically. So I just like to always and um, let my clients feel their best, make them comfortable in what they're wearing, their hairstyle or their makeup and just have a, make sure that they are, have confidence and they can go out and feel beautiful. The eyelashes here <laughs> are just a natural lash but as well they bring just bring out her eyes. She has beautiful brown um, big eyes so just these lashes enhance that beautiful eye shape that she has. I'm Kim. I'm the uh, assistant makeup artist for the New York Jamaican pageant. Basically, I'm um, concealing under her eyes to kind of lighten the dark area so she have an even tone con um, complexion. Basically, her eyebrows were very, you know, wild, so I kind of tamed them down with the eyebrow shaver. Add a little pencil for f to fill it in, fill it in, I'm sorry, and some concealer to make it pop. And that's basically all I did. I'm pretty excited. It's like my third, you know, official business venture where I have a group of clients where I apply makeup. So it's pretty interesting for me. I'm actually looking forward to the big day. My name is Whitney Figaro and I'm 19 years old and I attend Mega Evers College and I'm number one in the New York Jamaica beauty pageant. I like to do hair, I like to do nails, I like to do anything that involves my hand. 
I major is business and I chose business because um, I thought it would be good to, to with my career that I choose for myself to help my house and to better myself. I am from Trinidad and Tobago and the island of Trinidad and Tobago is known for carnival. Growing up in Trinidad was good for me. I already enjoyed school back home. School was a very good experience. Uh, it has a lot of programs to help you. Other parts and contestants are really funny. Everybody treats you really nice. And um, I think I have a good chance to win. I believe I have a good chance to win. Hi, my name is Dominic Grant. I'm 19 years of age. I'm contestant number two. My hobbies are singing and dancing. I like doing hair. I'm a hairstylist. I work at a beauty salon. Well, I like doing people here, make them look nice. I feel good because they like what I do, so they come back again. Well, school was the best. I would really like to go back home. But you know, I have to try to make things work up here right now. But the beach in Trinidad is the best. You know? <laughs> The food, roti, yeah, on point, pilau. Well, I never did a pageant before, so this is my first pageant, but the other contestants, they are very nice. Well, if I loss or I win, it really doesn't matter because it's my first time, so it will happen next time. So the next time I will know what to do. Hi, my name is Katie Ann Campbell. I'm number three in the New York Jamaica pageant. And my hobbies as of today are reading, um, and that's basically it. Um, I joined the New York Jamaica pageant because I am a born and raised Jamaican. And as, as I heard about the Superstorm Sandy and the devastation that it caused, I really just wanted to help. Jamaica is known for its ackee and saltfish, and going to Jamaica, that's one of the things that I love to eat the most. And one of my fondest moments in Jamaica was just being around my family because I don't get to see them much because I'm obviously here in America, so just being there with them is amazing. I'm only in high school. So um, I plan to study in psychology when I get out of high school, but for right now I'm just taking um, regular English and math classes. My talent in the pageant will be dancing. Hi, my name is Nalaysia Mason. I'm contestant number four, and my hobbies will be cheerleading, dancing, and stepping. Well, I'm really flexible, and I like it. I enjoy it a lot. I'm not um, like a sports person, I'm very like clumsy. Well, the high school I go to was and inside of it there are five different schools. I go to one that majors in film and music. Yeah, growing up I always wanted to be an actress. So like going into it, I would like to know behind the scenes and like just like working around it too. Well, it's also good for my confidence. Like being an actress, I would like to just go on stage and just feel it. I also wanted to help because I'm also from Jamaica, born in Jamaica but not raised in Jamaica and I was devastated hearing about Sandy and I wanted to help out. I recently took a trip to Jamaica and one of the funnest times I had was when I went to Dunn's River. It was great, just climbing the rocks and everything. The water, I actually drank the river. Well, it's going to make me feel like I'm giving a lending hand. Like a lot of people helped me out throughout the years and I would like to have the same feelings and emotions towards other people, like how people had towards me. Well, the other contestants are nice. I haven't really interacted with them, but like they're all like pretty and stuff. So yeah, and the pageant's going well so far. I would like to um, put together my gymnast, gymnastics still skills and dancing and like put into a choreography together. Uh, my name is Ramel Collymore. My number in the pageant is number five and my hobbies are graphic design, uh, media, um, painting, drawing and acting. I got involved in this event because I'm a very spontaneous guy and I like to try new things. Uh, in the event, uh, my talent is going to be stand-up comedy. 
Uh, right now, I'm currently attending Borough Manhattan Community College as my current college education background, sorry. Um, I'm studying design and media, so it's a lot of graphics and programming and script writing, which is what I look to do for in my career path. Uh, that's great. Um, I'm all for repair and um, rebuilding because um, like in the Superstorm Sandy I also helped to uh, repair and reconstruct a lot of the buildings in Coney Island. So like I'm very familiar with you know how you know the disasters that could happen that could strike and the effort that it takes to re restore things. Uh, uh, yeah my mother is from Barbados, my father is also from Barbados. But I was born here. But I also have, um, I was also in Trinidad for a little while. Um, well, I can't really remember much of Trinidad, but from what I remember in Barbados, uh, it's very warm, a lot of fruits, the people are very friendly, the nightlife is amazing, very memorable experience. Looks like I got it hands down. <laughs> but, um, yes, yeah, I mean, I don't feel any different type of way about it. I mean, I mean, you know, I don't let other people sway my decisions or the um, environment or circumstance. Like, I'm going to still come and do what I got to do to uh, be on top. My name is Dominique, and I am contestant six. I like, I like to dance, and I like to model. I started doing it at my school. And it just, when I started doing that in my school, it just made me to like, you know, encourage me to continue to learn how to do different styles and meet different people. So, and I love fashion. I really have a passion for it. So I always want to interact with other designers and learn something new. A lot of models are shy to being a passion maybe because they're not, they're not so used to, you know, being judged or, you know, being exposed to walk and answer certain questions in a pageant. So it probably was new to them. So it's probably that's why they're so shy. It's not new to me because the first time I did it when I was 17 years old, I was I was the same way too, the same way too. But it's I learned something about it and it's a great experience and I want to try it again. And my talent will be dancing. I studied ballet ever since I was seven years old. And then I, I kind of, I stopped like around junior high school, but now I'm starting to do ballet again. So I love doing it. People from, you know, outside of the United States. It's, we, al we also have to come together and help one another. You know, that's, that's just how I feel. Hi, my name is Angelique Harper. I'm number seven in the pageant. And my hobbies are dancing. Well, when I'm upset, I turn to that. When I'm happy, I turn to that. And a lot of my achievements are through dancing. They're from the islands, they're from Jamaica, Guyana, all that. I feel great about that because I like to, you know, help people in need. No, I just, I just um, look at look at the Alvin Ailey dancers because, you know, that's what I um, want to become, and that just motivates me. I guess just study how other people, you know, move and just take that into consideration, and maybe that'll help me do what I gotta do. I'm Desmond A. Carter. I'm number eight in this pageant, and my hobbies are dancing, singing, and gymnastics. I got involved because a friend told me. I didn't know about it, but yeah, it's a blessing being here because most people don't get opportunities to do this. My schooling, I mean, it's hard, but I'm trying to get there because most people don't graduate. So yeah, I'm trying to succeed in life. I'm in high school and later on, I would like to go to law school when I graduate out of um, college and stuff. I want to be a lawyer because my aunt is a lawyer and it seems pretty cool. Um, I don't know, like growing up, I was called ugly and it just gains respect. I mean, helping other people is just nice. You get you get something back from it. My name is Patrice Wynn. I'm number nine in the pageant, and my hobbies are reading and being creative. The last thing I made were cupcakes, and oh my gosh, the reviews were just amazing. 
it was just amazing. It made me think that I really have good hands, you know, and I can really do something with my hands that can make money. Just hearing what it's for and it's benefiting, you know, the community and I would, would have liked to be a part of it and I am a part of it and yeah, just to benefit the community and do something good for other people. I attend Nassau Community College where I major in education and that's my field of choice at the moment. Um, teaching is something that I've liked since I was small. I always used to like to teach other people and help other people with their schoolwork so I found that that would have been a good field to enter. Yes, I used to live in Trinidad and Tobago. I lived there for 16 years and it was really fun. Uh, yes, I do miss it. I would like to go back for vacation, yes. It's really nice in Trinidad and Tobago. No other place I've been so far can compare to Trinidad and Tobago. It's just beautiful. <laughs>